Forza Horizon 2. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words, the words, the words of the developer. Race through a massive, wide open world featuring dramatic weather and day to night cycles. Instantly connect to friends, providing you pay the exorbitant fucking price that Microsoft charged just to play fucking multiplayer. In the ultimate celebration of speed, style, and action packed driving, explore beautiful and exotic locations, it's France and Italy, in more than 200 of the world's greatest cars. All created with precise detail in 1080p. Love the way it says 1080p. I've been playing in 1080p for f***ing years on my PC. Mac. Yes guys, this is my first ever exclusive console review. So what is Forza Horizon 2? Well, it's a big open world driving game. You take part in the Forza Horizon Festival. Yeah, the big Horizon Festival where everybody cheers at the slightest f***ing thing and the music's blasting. It's a bit like, I'll tell you what it's like. You know, you know when you go to these cons, you know like BlizzCon? You'll go to BlizzCon and you'll have like, I don't know, 500 people sitting there. And then a developer will walk out and he'll go, well, I'm about to announce a card for Hearthstone. And everybody goes, whoop, 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 whoop. That's the sound of f***ing nerds. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of f***ing nerds. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound. Mac, I just, I just get so f***ing wound up when I see these cons and someone will come out and go, we're here to announce the next RNG card for Hearthstone. Whoa, yeah, man. Whoa, yeah, man. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Did you hear that motherfucker? It's gonna pronounce a fucking god, motherfucker. Whoa. Anyway, the Horizon Festival is full of them people who cheer if you put your handbrake on. They'll just go fucking have orgasms over a handbrake. It's very cheesy, this game. It's It's got a narrator who's just like the most cheesiest cheese merchant you've ever met. It's full of cliches and all that toss. You know what I'm saying? So if you can get past all that, it's a really fun driving game. What you do, you take part in these festivals and you complete a few races and then you go on a road trip. And the road trips around France and Italy, which is just basically moving from city to city, completing races. You do races in different classes of cars, so you get to drive pretty much everything in this f***ing lot. There's 200 cars in this. Most of them are DLCs, but you do get a good sprinkling of cars um, when you buy the base game, which is great because the cars are all very well crafted they handle totally different to each other they sound totally different to each other they look great even on the xbox i mean it looks really nice this game i mean i've been playing it sitting on the sofa just becoming an xbox jockey and i'm, I'm loving it i'm absolutely loving the game because this game is a very good driving game it's better than the crew there is no question about that it is better than the crew it has some amazingly fun races what, I mean, what you do is as you um, go through the game you get to do these special races like you race a train and it's so much fun it would have been much more fun if, the, if you rode crisscross the fucking railway track at points so you either got splattered or won but obviously we can't do that we can't do that because everybody will then go and copycat and do it and kill themselves because everybody's a fucking retard aren't they hey you know treat us like we're not we're not all fucking retards just because you drive a car across a train track in a game doesn't mean i'm gonna go and jump in my fucking car and do that when i go to pick my wife up from work tonight you know what i'm saying Nom say noms noms other than that it has a few annoying things it has a perk system that is so f***ing ridiculous. What a perk system in a drive. F*** off. We don't need a f***ing perk system in everything that we do in our f***ing lives. You know that. Can't we just have a game that doesn't have a f***ing perk system? You know what I'm saying? Life does not revolve around a f***ing perk system. If you're having sex with your girlfriend or your wife, you don't say, hey look, I've unlocked your breasts. Hey, isn't that good? I now have a new perk. As I tweak your nipples, my... my Sorry, the cars. As you uh, win races, you get money and you use that money and you buy cars and you there's cars there's every car you can think of in this game it's amazing the amount of cars in this you can it's got all my favorites in it's got the Datsun Z which I for some reason decided to drive around fields it's just it's so open world you can just drive anywhere you like and it, I was just so excited to have the old 280Z that I just went crazy uh, with it 
And uh, there's the Jaguar F-Type. Oh, I don't even want to name them all. They're all in Ferraris, the lot. It's, and they look freaking great. It has full-on multiplayer if you pay the fee. The fee. The fee. F*** off, Microsoft. Just, Billy, Billy. Honestly, we haven't paid a fee. We, I refuse to pay the f***ing multiplayer fee. You can kiss my f***ing rectum before I'll pay. Pay? I've already bought the f***ing game, you c***s. I've already bought it. I already pay a f***ing fee to get online. Why can't I? Why can't I? Hey, 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 you cheeky, greedy bastards. F*** you. F*** you. F*** you. So what it does is, it has got a neat thing, which I found hilarious. Um, it takes the avatars, they're called carvatars or something, I don't know what the f*** they're called, who cares? But it takes them and puts them in the game, instead of having AI cars called Mr. V8 or Mr. Muscle or whatever the f***, they now take people who play online and put them in your single player game. Which is nice because you will see people's names and the control, the, the AI is actually driving their cars. The problem with it is, it drives them like you do. And because consoles are aimed more at the children, Mac, but they are, let's be fair now, consoles are aimed at kids. A lot of them are driving like f***ing retarded pricks. So you'll be driving along happily and then you'll just see this Ferrari on the wrong side of the road in mid-air, flying at about 160 mile an hour, and it's like, yeah, typical. So the AI drivers are f***ing rancid they, they are but it's okay I mean it's it's not a game breaker or anything like that uh, besides besides if you have a crash you can always rewind time guys because it's a console game it's a console game a console game you can rewind in a console game it's a, it, it's a console game it's because it's on a console map that's right you can rewind time you have a crash you come skidding off the road in a, at a crucial point of a race and you hit a brick wall didn't matter you saw nothing you press the magic button and you rewind time 10 or 15 seconds. And then you take the corner again and, and this time you don't crash. Yes. Mom, Mom, I crashed my new Ferrari, Mom. Mom, what am I going to do, Mom? Just, just, just rewind time, son. Just rewind time. Press the, press the little care button. Press the care button. <gasps> Mom, I got my Ferrari back and I didn't crash. Oh, Mom, I'm such a pro, Mom. Don't ever use that, please. If you ever use that button, know that you will never go into a man. It is the it is the button, the, the button that means that you will forever be a little f***ing prick. Joking aside guys, the game is good. It's the best open world driving game that I've ever played. It's better than Test Drive Unlimited 2, better than Test Drive Unlimited 1. It just has so much to do. There's, you can even tweak your cars. You can tune them up. You can change the wing on them. You can change the brake. You can change the gear ratios on them. It's a full garage, and it's it's just a great driving experience. Um, the only thing it lacks that Test Drive Unlimited One and Two had was the avatar as a person, where you could buy a house, and, and so it doesn't have the depth of of that. But the driving is great. Um, if you do get this game get a wheel i mean it's fine with the controller it does work but you just don't get that level of control and i would love to play this with a wheel i really would um and there's some really good wheels out there for the for the xbox now so you know if you've got this and a couple of other driving games i mean next year you've got a set of course coming for the for the xbox well worth getting a wheel guys if, you, if you're into your driving games so there you go this is forza horizon 2 and i'm sorry this review isn't an in-depth one and i spent most of the time branding but it's my first console exclusive review and i think i came through it quite well i haven't killed myself and the tablets are here just in case i needed to so there you go uh forza horizon 2 it gets a thumb up it hell mac you've thumbed up a console game you now what are you gonna do what are you gonna do